Well, in the early to mid 20th century, there was an area of downtown Columbia that was home to hundreds of locally owned black businesses. Tonight, our Brandon Taylor takes a look at the history of Columbia's former black business district. Over the past year, News 19 has taken a look back at some of Columbia's historic neighborhoods. But did you know there was a line of black businesses along several downtown streets once known as Columbia's black business district? It was a thriving area filled with black entrepreneurs, restaurant owners, morticians, bankers, and even barbers. But over the years, this once bustling hub for African Americans has become non-existent. Tonight, we are focusing on two blocks along Washington Street and share the stories of two women as they recount their experiences in Columbia's Black Business District. People would come from all over, from everywhere, uh, to Columbia, and they would congregate downtown. Alexina Irving Fergus has fond memories of growing up in Columbia. She was raised in Columbia's historic Wheeler Hill neighborhood, but remembers the hustle and bustle of downtown's Washington Street. There were black businesses in several areas of Columbia, but the Washington Street area was most convenient for people who came from Lexington and West Columbia and Casey, from Eastover and Gadsden from Bishopville, from everywhere. These photos are a snapshot in time of what life was like during the Jim Crow era when black residents of the city were not welcome in many white-owned businesses. There were stores on Main Street that black people did not go in. And, you know, you just walked on by. You didn't consider, you didn't worry about it. Millerson Weeks has lived in Columbia for more than 70 years. As a child, she spent her Saturdays running errands with her family and shopping at locally owned black businesses in the heart of the capital city. What I remember was coming to town on Saturdays, dressed up, you did not come downtown looking cheesy, and that the businesses were just thriving on up and down Washington Street here. Black people would meet on Saturdays. You come to Columbia, do your shopping, get your hair done, get a haircut, get ready for church on Sunday. And my dad cut a lot of people's hair in preparation for Sunday. <laughs> Fergus's father was one of the many black entrepreneurs who worked along the 1000 block of Washington Street. My dad's name was Joe, and his barbershop was Joe's Barbershop. And a lot of people liked him, and he liked a lot of people. It was a lot different than today. Um, he opened this barbershop in the early 50s, but he had been working there since 1949. And uh, he kept this barbershop until, open until 1999. It's stories like this that excite people like John Shearer, the Director of Preservation for Historic Columbia, because he says this area was an integral component of day-to-day -day life in Columbia. When you talk to older folks in Columbia, they're like, yeah, of course. But newer people don't necessarily know of it because so much of that past has been largely lost due to just physical changes in our landscape. One of the few remaining structures from this period of time is the North Carolina Mutual Building. Built in 1909, this building included tenants like attorney Nathaniel J. Frederick and the Colored State Fair Association. But what happened to this haven for black South Carolinians? Quite frankly, integration. The opportunity for people of color to more fully integrate into businesses um, without physical restriction within the downtown and elsewhere. The first shopping center was out on 29th Road. Once we started leaving downtown to shop, then that's really what, what wore that out in terms of the black businesses. Both Mrs. Fergus and Miss Week say it's important for younger generations to know their history. It is our history. I mean, it is their history and they, every child needs to know what, what made them who they are. And that's it. everything good or bad makes you who you are. We reached out to several people to talk about Columbia's historic black business district. They all fondly remember landmarks like the Capitol Theater, or Count's Drugstore, and the Greenleaf Restaurant. Images that are depicted in a mural located on the side of Main Street entitled, The Pursuit of Opportunity. In the studio, Brandon Taylor, News 19 WLTX. If you'd like to learn more about the transformation of Columbia's former black business district, you can head to our website tonight. That's WLTX.com.